Good morning. Today we're here at Aldi. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices. Some of the things you guys have asked about, we're going to check on some food storage items, some canned goods, things that we can throw in our pantry. Let's get to it. As soon as I come into Aldi here, I notice they have their Spetzel uh, Swabian egg noodles here. Haven't seen these here at our Aldi in a long time. I have noticed that the price is more than the last time I saw it. They used to be $2.99, now $3.49. A lot of these crackers and stuff keep going up in price. $3.29 now for the Savers cheese crackers. Uh, I bought these one time. Not a big fan. Crackers are a little dry. $2.95 the last time I saw them. $3.29 now. Things like crackers and stuff like that seem to be catching up to a lot of the prices we've been seeing at Kroger lately, which is not a good sign. Um, the Golden Round crackers, yeah, not so much like Ritz. I did try these. Um, I like Ritz way better, but $2.49 now. They used to be $2.19. They got the Clubhouse Crackers out for $2.95. Regular price on the Keebler uh, is $3.99 now at Kroger. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a better deal, but I've never tried these. Let me know down below if these taste a lot like the Kellogg's one. Did I say Keebler? Kellogg's. They do have their saltine crackers in. You know, I did try these. They're not too bad. I mean, they're not Nabisco, but for $1.29, that's a good price. Another thing, too. Somebody was asking about the oyster crackers. I haven't seen the oyster crackers here at Aldi in probably a month or two. I don't, hopefully they didn't quit selling them. I know they were kind of getting up there in price. $2.49 now for the Benton style Oreo cookies. Sort of $1.78 last year. Someone was asking about the Aldi honey roasted peanuts. They do have them here. Uh, I know you had said that you haven't been able to find them. Uh, they've always had them. You know, we've seen them low here sometimes, but they are $2.29 now. Uh, and I know they were $1.95 just a couple months ago. $2.29 now. Everything's going up. Someone the last time I was here was asking if I would check on the prices of the Keto Elevation Bars. Someone said they went up to $6.75. Well, I guess they did. They're on an Aldi Saver deal for $5.99. So this might be the time to get them if you're looking for them. They also have these strawberry ones here for $4.99. Ugh, even the energy bars of the elevation here. We get a lot of comments on these. Uh, these have just started coming back in like a couple months ago. They were $4.65. $4.65 and now $5.29. As a matter of fact, these ones here are still $4.65. So I don't know what caused these to go up, but there's no rhyme or reason anymore, guys. I just, I don't know. These granola bars, you know, I... I like these. They're good. The Millville brand. We like a lot of Millville products, but they keep going up in price, guys. They do have it. It was $2.49 the last time I was here. $2.35 on an Aldi Saver deal. These were $2.15 just a couple months ago. So these have gone up a couple increments in the last couple months. Things that have really gone up here at Aldi are the different oats, the 42 ounce canisters of the quick quick oats and old-fashioned we tried the old-fashioned they're pretty good but 385 that's still an okay price compared to Kroger but uh you know remember last year these were 249 they were 389 and now they're 385 so they came down four cents but the smaller ones here the steel cut oats are now 309 these these were 295 so it's only gone up uh, about a dime 14 cents but still another price increase Something good that you can pack away for a while to have a snack, you know. These are very shelf-stable items. I don't... Okay, here we go. February 13th, 2024. Okay, well, not as good as I thought it would be, and this might be one at a later date. Um, these are pretty good. I don't really compare them to Nature Valley. I like Nature Valley, but uh, these are still pretty good. Um, $2.15 now, though. These were $1.78 just a couple months ago. Now, to be fair, we've seen a lot of price increases in a lot of stores over the last few months so i'm not surprised to see some of these items go up it's just unusual for aldi to go up so high you know it's one thing to see a 10 cent price increase but to see a 30 cent price increase at aldi that's a bit much also these fruit and grain bars i quit i'm not gonna buy them dollar these went from a dollar 15 to a dollar 35 to a dollar 65 and now 209 all within a couple months so I guess if there's anything good to be said, it looks like cereal has leveled off here at Aldi for a little while. Some of these ones, uh, the balanced cereal somebody was asking about by Millville, $1.95, still same price. Uh, and Raisin Bran is on an Aldi saver deal, $2.39 down to $2.15, and you guys better believe I'm getting an extra box. Now, I did stock up on these 
uh, when I noticed they started going, well, once they started coming back in, I bought up a few boxes, but it's what we're talking about on the channel here. When you find a good deal on something, it's good to buy up a couple, good to throw in your pantry. You know, if, if you're, if you're prepping some items, you know, it's good to have some good long shelf stable items. But when I see a price like this, absolutely. I buy up a few. So I guess I spoke too soon there. The crispy rice has gone from $1.59 a box to $1.79 a box. But that's the only one I've seen go up, and I'm just happy the raisin bran came down. So these baker's treat peanut butter wafers, you know, when I at first, I remember I did a taste test. I was like, oh, you know, that's okay. Of course, I paid $1.49 a box. Um, but the rest of them had like this really hard pieces in it. So I would not recommend these especially at $1.85. Got some Aldi saver deals here. Got these peaches. I gotta say though, they don't look that great. $2.58 for two pounds. That's a good price. I'm sure you can find a good batch in there. Maybe kind of mix and match them there if you want. Uh, they got the cantaloupe here, $2.29 for one. It's an okay price. These look all right. They're pretty tiny. Look at this, the blackberries. $1.69 a pack. This is nature's ripe too. That's a good brand. They look good to me. Blueberries, Nature's Ripe, one pint for $2.29. I mean, you know, we've seen them cheaper here before. Usually it's $1.99. This is, and these would be $1.49 usually. But see, even the sales are going up everywhere. That's why we do this every day to try and help save you guys money whenever we can. But those look awesome. And for $2.29, absolutely. Aldi does have a Aldi Saver deal here on green grapes. Uh, they're the little tiny ones. I know some people are saying they don't like the little tiny ones. Um, they got some here that have some bigger ones, but $1.29 a pound, that's the best best deal I've seen in a while. We saw them for $1.79 a pound at Meyer. They didn't have many left. Those were the bigger grapes. But uh, yeah, $1.29 a pound, that's a good deal. These look pretty good. One thing that's always good to have during these crazy times is a nice little stockpile of water. You'll never know when you need it unless there's, you know, there might be an incident where a train derails and, you know, you need to have some water on the back burner. I'm glad we did when that East Palestine event happened. Uh, got the Pure Aqua here, 24 pack for 369. I mean, that's the same as it's been for a while. These prices haven't gone anywhere, but I'm surprised they haven't gone down because uh, at a lot of other, like, well, value stores, we've seen better deals. Um, not too much better. $3.89 for the spring water here, 24 pack. But again, the reason why I stress that is because this is Aldi. This is Aldi. These should be like $2.49 or $2.99 at the most. So we have noticed where bagels have gone up. They've been the same prices here for the last couple months, few months. But the important thing is they are getting them back in and they are a lot cheaper than like Thomas Bagels. And I've never had a bad batch here. I usually get the blueberry ones here. They are delicious. $2.19. I mean, I know that's up from what it used to be. You know what's funny? A year ago, I remember when these had gone up from $1.49 to $1.65 and people were going crazy. Uh, but, you know, you can still get the cinnamon raisin and the regular for $1.95. Still way cheaper than you can pretty much get anywhere else. So they're out of the chocolate one that Jessica likes, but I did want to point out these did go up and they do have the sign here too for both of these, $4.89. We saw these go from $4.49 to $4.69 to $4.89, all within a couple months. $1.69 a pound for strawberries. And I have to say, these are the best looking strawberries I've seen at Aldi in a long time. Usually, I mean, I don't know, they've been real small and not very good. Strawberries are in season, but Importantly, not only are they looking good, $1.69 a pound, that's a pretty good deal. I did notice the red grapes are $1.29 a pound as well. Also, if ever you go into like one of them little Aldi saver bins and you don't like the ones you see, always check in the uh, cooler aisle part of the produce here. They always have a bunch more you can look through. Wanted to check on some of the tomatoes, and I gotta say, these don't look as good as the last ones I saw here. We were raving on the tomatoes that Aldi had last time. And these could have just been sitting here, I don't know, but the sunset ones, yeah, I don't know. They're a little, not, they don't look all that great. 2.59 though for 24 ounces. The beefsteak tomatoes look okay here. This is 2.19 for two of them though. These avocados here are some of the brightest green avocados I've ever seen. That means they are fresh picked. You will have to let them sit for a couple days until they start to brown before you can use them, but 65 cents a piece, that's pretty good. 
I was kind of looking through the potatoes here. I got to say, uh, they look a lot better than the ones we saw last time. They are still $5.49. Some people were saying that theirs had gone back down to $4.99. So hopefully ours goes back down. Remember, just a little over a year ago, these were $3.99 forever. Like, they were $3.99 forever. But $5.49 now, that's still an okay price for 10 pounds of potatoes. And then they have the red potatoes and uh, gold potato, yellow potatoes for $3.99. These don't look like yellow potatoes. I mean, I guess they are, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's the lighting. But $3.99 for five pounds, that's an okay deal. If you were one of the few people that were having trouble finding red onions, we always see them here at Aldi and it's always a decent price. $1.89 here for two pounds. That is less than a dollar a pound. Now we've been seeing these as high as $1.49 a pound in some stores so keep that in mind i think the cheap next cheapest we saw was walmart uh, it was 238 for two pounds so keep that in mind also their yellow onions have dropped down to 219 a pound these got up to 249 a pound there for a while more importantly they look fantastic they do have the dole celery and heads of lettuce best looking dole lettuce i've seen at all in a while dollar 89 for a head of lettuce dollar 69 for the celery same prices uh, 75 cents per pound for a thing of cabbage. Looks all right. 269 for a three pack of peppers. Uh, $2.50 at Kroger this week, so keep that in mind. But 269 still ain't too bad. Same price as it's been for as long as I can remember. We had a couple comments over the last couple weeks. If I would check out some of the Willow prices, uh, you didn't even say Aldi. I just knew what you were talking about because you said Willow. I was like, well, that's the Aldi brand. 619 now for the 12 jumbo rolls. Uh, this was $7.49 at one point, so that has dropped down in price on $13.99 for the 18 mega rolls, same price as it's been forever. And then they have the ultra strong down here, 12 mega rolls, uh, ultra strong bath tissue, $9.99 down from $10.49. And they are out of this one here. This is the 12 double rolls, three ply bath tissue, $4.99, $18.99 now for the big, uh, uh, 20 pack is it Let's see. yeah 30 rolls 30 rolls uh, for $18.99 this keeps going down in price we saw at one point a few months ago this was $22.99 and then we saw it immediately drop to $20.99 it had been $19.99 for a while and now $18.99 so good deal something I always believe is good to have you know in case the power goes out or your water's not working or something you can't do dishes Always good to have these. Uh, and this is an okay price these days. We go over these every now and then, the Boulder. These are, I compare these to like the solid Dixie plates, 50 plates for $5.79. Uh, it's a dollar more than what it was last year. But you look at some of these prices, it was like $7 for the Kroger brand. And all you got was 44 plates. So, and really, I didn't feel like they were as good as these. But yeah, always good to keep in your preps, you know, just in case. It's always good to have a plate to eat on. It's hard to find really cheap soaps these days, cheap hand soaps. Uh, boy, that is tiny. I don't know if that's even really worth it. I mean, look at that. I can't really, that is, I can almost grip all the way around there. I don't know, it's only seven and a half ounces, but it is only 87 cents too. So I don't know if you bought two of these, it would probably be equal to one of the dial that you would pay for at Walmart. So whatever your preference is. They do sell a few vitamins uh, here at Aldi. I don't know if they're really worth it. Um, this B12 here, let's see, oh, 140 gummies, eh, okay. 5.99 is on a saver deal, so is this adult and children's gummy vitamins here. 6.99 down from 7.39, these are 5.99 down from 6.69. I don't know, let me know if you use any of the Welby brand vitamins. Uh, and if you've been satisfied with them, they do have fish oil here. We get more and more comments on fish oil. I know it has omega-3 and different fatty acids that are good for you. Uh, 100 soft gels here for $5.49. Uh, Cetaminophen here, 100 count for $1.95. That's pretty much the same price as the store brand everywhere. It's the same as Kro Kroger's is like $2. Uh, and actually, it might be more. We'll have to check. I don't see any other off-brand ibuprofen that somebody was asking about. They do carry regular omeprazole. You get heartburn 695 but how much is this 14 tablets for 695 i think it's 15 dollars for three bottles at kroger so 
Again, don't quote me on that. I know, I know they were like $15 the last time I saw them. Uh, but yeah, you got way more than this. Okay, guys. Well, I noticed something a second ago that we're going to go over here, and I don't like it. Uh, still 85 cents here for the Happy Harvest Diced Tomatoes. These are really good. I like these. 85 cents is a good price. I'd rather pay this. Uh, it's a dollar at Kroger for their uh, brand of diced tomatoes. They got the fire roasted here. Now, this is more. Dollar nine. You know, all these prices are going up. And one thing that I did notice here, canned goods have gone up at Aldi. 64 cents a can. That is up from 58 cents a can. Every one of your peas, carrots, uh, green beans, they're all 64 cents a can now. Walmart, uh, the great value has gone up at theirs too. Some Walmarts are 64 cents a can like ours, and then others they I've heard that are up to 68 cents a can. So that's why that's why we always do this for you guys, you know, and ourselves. You know, it's like it's still a good price, but again, they finally gone up here. So yes, all these other canned goods have gone up too, like the tomatoes, diced tomatoes and stuff like that, but it's been a while. These have stayed the same. They have kept these here, and there was an Aldi Saver deal here for a while where they were 50 cents, 49 cents, sorry. And then the, uh, but yeah, it doesn't really look like much of the other has gone up. I noticed the cannelli beans here, 78 cents still. Mushrooms and stems still $1.19, which is way too much for Aldi. But a lot of the beans here, the Chicago beans, still 76 cents for those, the kidney beans. So across from me here, I just wanted to point out that eggs here at our Aldi are $1.18. Now, we've been here in some Aldis out around the country have been $0.98. Cents. The last time we were here, they were $1.22, which was down from $1.24. So they're slowly creeping down, uh, seems like, every few weeks. But $1.18 here in Cincinnati. They still have the tomato soup here at our Aldi, uh, $0.39. Cents. I bought up a bunch of these the last time we were here. Chicken noodle is still, or the chicken, uh, cream of chicken is still 68 cents a can, but I mean, that's still a good deal, and I like it. I like the cream of chicken here at Aldi. Uh, we used to get the Campbell's, but Campbell's is getting too much. Pretty much anywhere you, uh, cream of chicken is $1.50 at Kroger of Campbell's, and then the cream of celery, which I use a lot, is now $1.79. I actually, it may be $1.89 now. I don't really know. Seems like it constantly changes. They got cream of mushroom back in here too. 68 cents a can. Um, and I don't see their chicken noodle here. I don't know where it went. Huh, they might be out of it here. This is all tomato right here. But their chicken noodle was 39 cents as well. But it's gone. Does look like Aldi got their uh, ramen noodles back in. However, it's the same price as it is everywhere else. 12 packs are 368 here, 369 at uh, Kroger and Meyer, and uh, 368 at Walmart as well. They do have the six pack cups here for 258, but I feel like that's a waste of money. You can you can do all kinds of things with a single pack of ramen noodles, add chicken, add vegetables, stuff like that. You can really make it into a meal to help stretch uh, each pack of these. Well, here's something you don't see at Aldi every day. They got the Rayos. Rayo's here sauce, six dollars and eighty-eight cents, eight ninety-nine at Kroger. Yep, that's the twenty-four ounce. Now they do have this organic, simply nature marinara sauce, dollar ninety-nine. I've never tried this. Let me know if this is any good. If you have, looks like they got some of the Regano spaghettis back in here, dollar eighty-eight for two pounds. It's less than a dollar a pound. They've got the angel hair or fettuccine, dollar eighty-nine for two pounds. I know this doesn't, this doesn't look like too bad. This is the older box. Uh, but that is two pounds, and this is the newer box, and yeah, still two pounds, just a newer box. Checking out some of the different products they got here. Uh, we get mixed reviews on these shells and cheese. Me and Jess tried this. We liked it. We thought it was all right, especially for $1.45 a box. It is on an Aldi Saver deal for $1.35, but yeah, I mean, it's no craft. But I mean, it's still still pretty good. And the fact that you can get two boxes of these for a little less than one box of the other, it's not too bad. Also, these stuffing mixes, these are pretty good. It's funny, it's like they rearrange these numbers. These used to be 58 cents. That might have been right before Christmas though, but 85 cents now, still an okay deal considering the cheapest price you're gonna ever pay for Stouffer's is two bucks. 
Uh, and those are getting up pretty high now. Most places are like 239. We even saw a Kroger where they were trying to sell them for 329 a box. Absolutely insane. So if you're gonna try the chef's cupboard, uh, different scallop potatoes, this is mine and Jessica's favorite here, the all gratin. Uh, it is $1.09 now a box though. These were 95 cents. So they went up about 14 cents. But yeah, we tried the scalloped here, wasn't a big fan, but this one's pretty good. These sell out pretty quick, but they do have the bouillon cubes of the chef's cupboard here, 99 cents. Uh, normal price, $1.59. These are $1.99 at Kroger now, and they do have back here, they do got the beef. So good time to stock up on these. Always, always good to be stocked on these kind of things. Okay, so tuna cans have gone up here at Aldi. They are 84 cents. Uh, they were 88 cents. I don't know. This was a, they're kind of strange with prices sometimes. I don't know. They might've had this mixed up because these were 88 cents, now 84 cents. They were 77 cents for both of these now 88 cents for the uh, tuna and oil and 84 cents for a can um and water i you know i don't know guys i thought these prices were going to be coming down and i'm seeing nothing but them going up now these had come down for a while this is really good guys get this instead of swanson yeah i know it's catching up but i mean i feel like this tastes exactly the same uh when you mix a bunch of mayonnaise and pickles and stuff like that into it anyway make some chicken salad you can't tell the difference anyway three dollars and 15 cents they've been this for a while they did go up to 319 then we saw them drop for the longest time back down to 279 and now they're 315 again i mean this is just crazy guys look at this though brookdale okay now i haven't tried this but we've gotten a lot of comments on this uh people say that it's better than libby's same size 2.99 on an Aldi Saver deal, 3.19 regular price, 5.99 now, 5.99 for Libby's, anywhere you go. So somebody was talking about these Northern Catch packets here, saying they were really good. Said you liked them better than the Bumblebee. They do have the Brookdale ones back in here. Uh, let's see. So I don't know. This is this might be a dollar fifty-five. This is for the Brookdale. Oh no, yeah, it's Northern Catch also. Okay, $1.55. Hmm, I don't know. They haven't had these in a while. $1.55, I guess, is okay for this. But again, you can get the Brunswick version, which is the same as Bumblebee, at Dollar Tree for $1.25. Is this three ounces? Ooh, this is three and a half ounces. So you get an extra half ounce there for that, uh, I guess, 30 cents. Again, guys, these are very shelf stable items that you can throw in with your preps. Uh, these are things we stock up on usually we have quite a big amount of these so I, you know We like to kind of let it get down a little bit before we, you know We want the dates to extend out things that we rotate around You know, we want to make sure that the dates are going to be pretty far in advance. I'm sure these things I'm sure even the best if used by dates. These are fine, but I don't know Don't take my word on that. But uh, yeah, all these northern catch packets that people talk about 85 cents 85 cents I have a huge stockpile of these uh, Brookdale Vienna sausages. I love these things. Um, and I have them for anything, any kind of event, camping, going out for a weekend, good to have as a snack, 68 cents a piece. We've been seeing the armor go for 89 cents to 99 cents a piece. Uh, and these keep going up too. I bought them when they were 54 cents a piece and I bought up a bunch because I knew the prices were gonna be going up. Looks like our Aldi was finally able to get salt back in. That's good. Um, yeah, and I agree with everybody who was saying salt doesn't expire. Some salts do. You got to pay attention. Uh, some salts have like added stuff into it that you have to look if they put an expiration date. But yes, for the most part, salt's going to last you forever. 57 cents uh, for a canister of it here is a pretty good price. Uh, they used to be 45 cents a while back. And, and people were even saying they were 39 cents a couple years ago. But whatever it's still cheaper than uh morton's that has gone up to a dollar 49 a pack now so see i think i even see best buy 6 9 20, 28. so you will probably but see this is iodized salt so that could be why it has the expiration date on it i know some people in the comments were talking about that i really I, you know i really don't know i know that uh we use our salt till it's gone all the time i don't care what it says but take that for what you will uh, 2028, uh, you're going to use this way before then anyway, probably. 
I do have to say, if you are a pet owner, you may want to try and get them used to some of this pet food here because we've only seen these go up in price as well. Still 75 cents for what people compare to the Caesar packets, 75 cents. You can get two of these for one of those pretty much anywhere. We've had no complaints with pet owners on this here. We have had a couple with some of the some of the bigger cans here. We've had some complaints, 59 cents, mostly about the price. They keep going up in price, but uh, 59 cents a can. I don't know, you know, we've had no real complaints on what people compare to uh, Fancy Feast here, and these are 59 cents as well. I don't know what causes it, you know, I feel like one of these prices is wrong because they're both 59 cents now, so they both have gone up. They both have gone up, but I don't know, you know, I would. this one's always like a few pennies more, so I don't really know. Something I might take a picture of just to show like, hey, you know, you got it on here for 59 cents. Last time I was here, somebody pointed out that the big bags of dog food here did go up from 10.98 or 10.99 to 12.49. Uh, ours has been 12.49 for a while, but yes, I remember it's been a while, uh, some months ago. But yeah, it used to be 10.99. Then they have the uh, scoopable cat litter here for six dollars and nineteen cents. Some good prices here, guys. Oh, look at this. This one up. Uh, the cat food here. This was 2.65, uh, and then we saw it go up to 2.85. Now 3.19. So yeah, I can, I can see why some people are upset. These things just keep going up. They still have the flour here for $2.19. And sugar is getting really high in price, guys. Uh, $3 now at Meyer and Kroger, which it's gone up four times in a month each week. It went from $2.19 to $2.49 to $2.79 to $2.99. This was $2.84 here at Aldi. It has now gone up to $2.89. I would not be surprised at all to see this go up to near $3 for a store brand product. I feel that is ridiculous, especially at Aldi. It's probably why they're not selling any. Or they just packed this up. I'm not really sure. But uh, 10 cents cheaper than Kroger or Meyer. That's not really saying much. Most of you guys know me, know that I like to have a good stock up on coffee. And these, I feel like all of these are a great deal for $4.19 these, these days. These days. You know, they were $3.99, but we saw them go up to $4.59 there for a little while. So it's good to see them drop back down to $4.19. Uh, Midnight Blend's pretty good. Donut Shop Blend. These are the only two that I've tried of the Keurig Cups. Um, but they have the ground here as well, which is probably going to go more the distance. $4.19 for these as well. These went up to $4.59 also. So these have dropped in price. Cafe Bastillo, they finally fixed the sticker on here. We noticed this the last time we were here, but this is the 10 ounce here for $3.85. It's a good deal, good shelf stable item to have in your preps or, or wherever in your storage. Uh, here's some, we got a comment from one of our longtime viewers uh, asking about the uh, different uh, instant coffee here. They still have the Nescafe, $6.68. Um, yeah, I mean, it's about the same as it is everywhere, but they have the Beaumont, uh, $3.59. I do see a regular coffee here the red label last time we were here they only had decaf which is kind of funny usually it's the only way around 359 these used to be 295 but you know they do have their beaumont 100 percent colombian uh, a lot of viewers on our channel like this eight dollars and 49 cents that is up from 790 it's been 849 for a while but i like to point out the increases even when it's been a long time just so we know what they used to be so we know when there's a good sale on it they have the classic roast here for $7.99. That was $7.48 a while back. And they have the smaller decaf here, $3.89. And a bunch of like latte, frappe, hot chocolate. And they've got the coffee creamer. I know there's a few people on the channel that like this. I can't have it because it has coconut in it on the Aldi Saver deal for $2.15 down from $2.25. We went from spending $400 every two weeks to $400 each a month. Well, I don't know. I mean, I guess you could do that at Aldi, but I wonder how old this sign is. I'm not going to go over all the meats today, but the 80% lean ground beef did go up to $4.29. This has gone down to $3.29 a pound. Uh, the 73% lean is now $3.59 a pound. This was two nine. This was two seventy nine dollars a pound not that long ago. $3.59 a pound now. And uh, the 80% was $3.79 a pound, but it didn't last long before it went up to $3.99. Now $4.29 a pound. That is crazy. But we're seeing meat prices go up everywhere, guys. So whenever you find a good sale, you know, continue to watch the channel. Make sure you subscribe down below. 
Uh, our videos come out at 8.30 in the morning every day to try and help save you money in the grocery stores. Family pack chicken breast, $2.29 a pound. Not the best price, but it's an okay deal considering how much, how expensive it's gotten. Somebody asked if I would check out the red bag chicken again. We're always getting comments on red bag chicken. We saw there for a while that uh, they didn't have it, but they've been getting it in ever since then. Some people were saying they haven't been able to find it. It's very popular. So you need to get it as soon as they get it in. We buy up a couple bags just to make sure we have it. Still $7.99 too. I would have expected that go up in price, but knock on wood, still $7.99. Well, that was our trip to Aldi today. More price increases, guys. You know, I had seen a couple commercials. Aldi was saying that prices were coming down. A couple things have, and that's good. Uh, some of the, but most of the things, a lot of the things that we buy and that we get a lot of comments on are either the same pr price as or higher. Um, we're not seeing, you know, we're, we're hearing these things, oh, prices are dropping, prices are dropping. Yeah, like five, 10 cents. That doesn't equate to the $1.50, $2 rate rises in prices that we've seen over the last year and a half, year, year and a half. Some in just the last few months. You know, we're seeing things go up constantly, and yet we're being told that they're coming down. You know, and I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it's good advertising for them, you know, but uh, it's still cheaper than a lot of other stores, but they're really catching up. I feel like they're always, like, we see price increases at Kroger, Meyer, Walmart, we're seeing Aldi go up to the same prices as Wal as Walmart on a lot of different items like ramen noodles, soups, stuff like that. Uh, obviously canned vegetables. So, you know, these are things we have to pay attention to. Still good prices for things to stock up on. In the grand scheme of things, you're going to pay a lot less for a can of Happy Harvest than you do a can of Del Monte. I prefer Del Monte. I will spend a few extra pennies on uh, canned vegetables that taste like right out of the garden. That's why I love Del Monte. Now, as far as canned vegetables or canned fruits, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big store brand canned fruit guy, but I do like great value. Those are okay. I've tried some canned fruits here at Aldi, not a big fan. Um, and I'm not a big fan at all of the ones at Kroger. Meyer is okay, um, but like Del Monte or Dole, you know, canned fruits always seem like they're the best. That's why they cost the most. But guys, uh, yeah, an okay trip to Aldi today. Still finding some things to stock up in your preps or just in storage or whatever you like to call it. It's always good to have this stuff in case there's a bad storm. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of bad storms down south. People have been losing power. Uh, and we've been getting comments of how people are so thankful that they, they stock up on things, which is a great idea these days. You never know what can happen, but it's always good to be prepared. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out there.